Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. Today we are going to open up and review the brand new Shining Fates Crobat Premium Collection as well as the Dragapult Premium Collection. These boxes were provided by Express Pokemail. They're one of my go-to Pokemon card shop for deals on Pokemon cards. Express Pokemail offers great deals on new releases. They sell out very quickly. That's why I highly recommend you check out their link down in the description to sign up for their newsletter so you can get immediate updates on new products and sales. As well, Express Pokemail is offering viewers of the channel a chance to win one of two Shining Fates Elite Trainer boxes. With how scarce products are right now, I really appreciate Express Pokemail for doing this. To enter for a chance to win one of two Shining Fates Elite Trainer box, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment down in the description. I will use a YouTube random comment picker app to pick winners at the end of the week. All right, let's start off with the shiny Crobat box, the slightly more desirable of the two, but honestly, you probably want both. Super cool box contains two really cool shiny cars, the Crobat V as well as the Crobat V Max. A little bit unique of a box, they retail for $40, but it contains seven booster packs, an odd number of booster packs, which is a little bit unique for the premium collection. You usually find these in even number packs, which is a little bit different, but I think it's really cool that it comes with so many different promo cards that are both highly desirable for collectors as well as TCG players as well. Inside of the box, you have yourself a Jumbo Crobat coin. This is definitely a little bit different. I have never seen such a large Pokemon coin before. It's like twice the size of the regular ones. So I'm not sure why they did it this way, but it's going to be really cool when you take one of these to a tournament and really show your opponent how to flip heads or tail with this baby. And there we have the Crobat V shiny card, the slightly more desirable of the two between the Dragapult or the Crobat. This one's a little bit more desirable because it is a little bit more playable in the TCG. I also think there are a couple more Crobat fans than Dragapult fans, but that's only because Crobat has been around for a little bit longer than Dragapult. And of course we have the Crobat V Max. The box is actually named the Crobat V Max Premium Collection box. So yeah, it is named after the V Max version, not the regular. And there we have a promo card if you would like to pick up either of these for yourself on the TCG Online website. I think it's really cool that the Pokemon company would release uh, exclusive free versions on their online game as well. It also comes with a jumbo card. The jumbo card is pretty interesting because it is the exact same as the regular version and it really is jumbo. It's fully texturized in the exact same way that the regular card is. No difference. The only difference I guess is the size and of course it does come with uh, seven booster packs inside. We got one, two, three four, five, six, seven. So an interesting product for $40. I think it is something that might be worth picking up if you're interested in Shining Fates. A really cool set overall with plenty of Shining Pokemons inside. And honestly, plenty of restocks are coming. It's very common for Pokemon products to sell out, especially for such a popular product like this. Hidden Fates sell out. Uh, Champions Pass sold out. I mean, like these products usually tend to sell out when they are first released. But the Pokemon Company is very good when it comes to restocking shelves. And honestly, you're gonna see Shining Fates being restocked in April, May, and so much farther out. We got the Reshi Ram Amazing Rare in our very first pack. It takes up the holographic reverse slot, so you can still get a second pull outside of the amazing rare. You can even get like a nice full art card on the back too, which would be really nice. A couple of people have told me that the packs have definitely felt a little bit more different for Shining Fates compared to prior set, and I have 
noticed some irregularities when it comes to the wrappers, the cards, and stuff like that. The Pokemon company is certainly ramping up production and that could mean so many things. They could be printing Pokemon cards in factories that have not print Pokemon cards in the past, so forth and so forth. So it's very possible. We got the Inteleon Shiny, one of the more popular hits for the baby shinies is what they're called because it is not the full art version to one of the shiny card, but Inteleon, very popular. That is a cool hit for sure. Definitely Shining Fates is a fun set to open if you enjoy seeing a lot of hits, right? If you're not chasing a specific cards, there are a lot of hits in Shining Fates and they come up pretty darn often. I think it might be the English set with the highest pull rate I've ever seen. You get hits after hits very often, higher than other sets I've seen, even higher than Hidden Fates. And we all know how amazing Hidden Fates is. We got Roly Coley. Speaking of Hidden Fates, can you believe that there's going to be another restock of Hidden Fates? Uh, some people said that they've had enough of Hidden Fates. It's in 2019. And yeah, you can see the pack ir irregularity right here. The whole entire pack is completely off-centered. The, the Shining Fates logo is almost sliding off the left side of the pack. Just talking about that and you can see like just little, little small minute issues with the packs so nothing too crazy i mean they're still pokemon packs and i'm not really seeing major damages to the card anything that's outside of the norm for pokemon cards in english which always tends to have a little bit of whitening on the back stuff like that it's very common for english pokemon cards to just have like the slightest issues if you want some perfect cards then yeah some of the japanese sets do amazing stuff like they always come out gem mint psa 10 ready like here look at this pack the code card was backwards on this pack just like the most random little bit of error i think in vivid voltage i open up one booster pack with four uh holographic reverse it was just like the weirdest thing four holographic reverse in one booster pack we got it on video so i know it did occur like just the most random little bit of stuff we got ourselves the Dival or Devil, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Hollow Rare, that's a new Hollow Rare for me. I haven't seen that one, so it'll be nice to add it to my collection. So yeah, if you would like to win one of two uh, Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box, then do leave a comment, be subscribed, and enter for a chance to win one. Hey, it's free stuff, so why not, right? We got ourselves a bunch of Rusted Shield now, so if I ever want to play those, with the Zamazenta deck, I guess I can now. We haven't seen any of the shiny full art cards yet. And I'm still waiting to pull the shiny Charizard V Max. A couple of other uh, YouTubers and, and content creators have already pulled multiple. <laughs> and I have not pulled one. That is very classic me. I never open up a... Um, a shiny Charizard GX from Hidden Fates that belonged to myself. I never open up a, sh um, a shiny Charizard V from Champion's Path on video before. So it doesn't surprise me if I don't get one from Shining Fate. Ooh, we got the Center Scorch Baby Shiny, so that's pretty cool. Three Baby Shiny hit as well as an amazing rare hit. I think overall that was a very good premium collection box. Onto the Dragapult box, very cool as well. Two shiny versions, we got the Dragapult V version as well as the Dragapult V Max version, which the box is named after. The slightly less valuable between the two is gonna be the Dragapult, but that's completely fine. That's very normal, you know, with the Hidden Fates tins, the Charizard one is the most desirable, but honestly, you're going to want probably all three, the Gyarados, the Raichu, as well as the Charizard. On to the booster pack. So how good are these VMAX collection boxes? Honestly, first off, they look really good on display. If you're looking for something to add to your display, these boxes will look amazing on your shelf they are really premium and i love how texturized they are the pokemon company is doing a great job with their packaging i think the packaging just keeps looking better 
and better. And if you want to open these up, these are fun for the whole entire family as well. You can almost guarantee that you're probably going to get three or four hits inside of one of these boxes. And it's just a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. There is my chase car. My chase card. It is my chase card from Shining Fates. You would think it'd be the Charizard VMAX, but it's actually Skyla. It would be Marnie full art if Marnie was in the set, but we got Skyla instead. That is totally awesome awesome the full art cards have looked better and better with each gen and i continue to enjoy collecting them honestly they really didn't wow me in xy i know a lot of people um, bash on me for enjoying the full art trainer cards but for the longest time i really didn't enjoy them and that really comes from me being a collector for quite a while and uh Full art trainer cars just never really appealed to me. I didn't enjoy them in XY era. I thought the artwork just didn't look very good, but something definitely changed um, during the Sun and Moon era. And maybe they did quality control, maybe they did QA, who knows, but they got significantly better. There is the, uh, the uncensored version of Ditto, which I'm totally fine with. A very funny card for sure. And yeah. I think from Sun and Moon all the way till Sword and Shield, the full art trainer cards are all like fantastic. They've done such an amazing job of making the uh, full art trainer cards just really appealing. So I'm going to enjoy collecting full art trainer cards from those era specifically. And that's purely down to preference. I know people who really love the XY era. Uh, for our trainer cards and there's a couple that are good but overall I just don't like the looks of them we got NDDV so three hits so far in the first three packs you can just see how rapid fire the hits are for Shining Fates in Hidden Fates you might get a hit every one in three packs like a good hit maybe like a baby shiny or shiny GX card something like that but it seems like with uh, Shining Fates, the hits are like just constant. I, I just keep seeing like, you know, like four four hits in a row, five hits in a row. Every time I've opened up Shining Fates on video, we've gotten like five hits in a row repeatedly. We got more Peko, we got Yan Mega Holographic Reverse, and Pokey Kid on the back. I am elated right now. Just give me all the full art trainers because I uh, personally, I enjoy the full art trainer cards from this set tremendously more than the Pokemon. I think that's that's a little bit unique, but there are just so many fantastic full art trainer cards from Shining Fates. And it's not just the shiny Pokemon. I mean, you got the amazing rares, the full art trainers, and some gold rarity cards too, such as the Eternatus V Max. So this set is just really killer. So once again, are these premium collection box worth it? Yes, definitely, if you can find them at retail price. I highly recommend we, we do one, two, three to the front. I think we already did that. I'm just wigging out right now. If you can find these at retail price, it's a very smart pickup right now. Great product, both to open and to display. You can't really go wrong with Shining Fates right now. A really cool product. And the Pokemon company really hit it out the park with this one. Why is Marnie not in this set? I don't really know. Perhaps Marnie is going to come in a later uh, collection box. Maybe Marnie will come out in an upcoming set. I'm not fully sure how the Pokemon company decides which cards are going to be in which set. It's a little bit strange that they sort of pick and choose certain cards. Like why was uh, Shiny Charizard V left out of this deck? Or the set was it really because shiny charizard v needed to be in champion's path to build up hype uh, maybe that's totally possible of these two boxes we pretty much got four hits in each so yeah really fantastic product i'm going to enjoy displaying these if you guys like to have a chance at winning one of the shining fates elite trainer box definitely enter i mean it's super easy just be subscribed leave a comment and i will pick some winners to just get their address to ship the elite trainer boxes out to we got the yvetal or the yvetal whichever way you want to pronounce it amazing rare card from x and y very cool card do we get a second hit no we do not that'd be too crazy we got the zarud in the back 
but fantastic products overall. All right, everybody, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. My final thoughts on these products are definitely to be on the lookout for these. They are going to be restocked multiple times over the next couple of months, and you never know when you might stumble upon one of these box at your local game store or at a retail store near you. Fantastic product, whether you plan on displaying it or cracking it open with the family. You can't really go wrong with the shop. Shining Fates Premium Collection. Hope you guys enjoy and I will sleeve up these cards. I will see you guys next time.